Hey guys, thanks for all the great comments, the great uh, likes. A lot of you have asked me about Kevin Magnussen going back to Formula One and what I think about it. So here it is video. I think it's awesome. I'm really happy for Kevin. He's such a great, great guy. I mean, we didn't always get on nicely and we had kind of a different view on, on racing with his teammates. And, you know, we, uh, yeah, we banged with us a few times uh, on racetrack and to the day, you know, we kind of talked through what we were thinking of our teammates uh, and from them was really smooth. Yeah, really enjoyed working with Kevin. Uh, we've got a very different driving style. I, I like a car which is quite oversteery. He likes an understeery car. In that aspect, sometimes it was fast, sometimes it was fast, depending on the car would behave, but really happy for, for Kevin. So Haas was in a situation where I mean, with everything that's happening in the world and the different decisions, they stopped the sponsorship with, with Royal Caddy. Nikita Mazepin's dad company, I believe. The reason why Mazepin was driving for Haas, it was just because he was bringing that, that huge sponsorship for the team. So the team had few options. We heard about Hülkenberg, Giovanazzi, Filip Aldi, and then Kevin, you know, wasn't so much on the radar and then uh, and then got a call and, and went back to Haas, which is great, which is awesome. I'm happy for him. I think for Mick Schumacher, it's also a good thing. So he's gonna have a teammate that's got a lot of experience in Formula One that is very fast. Kevin's strengths is that he, he can always drive the car the way it is and it, and it would it would do with it. You know, it doesn't need to be perfect for him to go fast. It would deal with the car. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes. I hope Haas is gonna give him a competitive car. I'm worried it's not that competitive at the minute, but who knows, I may be wrong. So I hope uh, I hope for Kevin, he, he can, you know, get uh, get some fight at the front. Uh, when I spoke to him last year, when he was doing the IMSA, what he loved was to be able to go back and, and fight for winning races. I guess with Haas, it's gonna, not gonna happen, but hopefully he can score points and, and have a decent season which is all I hope for him. A lot of people ask me if I would go back. I would not. I am really happy in the United States. I am really happy in IndyCar. I am so excited every weekend I can go in a race and, and get a shot at the win. I had an incredible career in Formula One. All the race suits behind me. It's such a huge part of my life but right now I'm on to the next chapter and next chapter is about winning races and trying to win championship. So yes, I would I would not have answer positively to the, the phone call, but Kevin did, and that's great news for Haas. I think they really need a driver with experience to help them move forward. Last year was, uh, was tough. I think experience is something that you need in Formula One. Kevin going back to Formula One, he's already known, he's already been in with McLaren, then he was out, then he was back in with Renault, then he went to Haas, out and back to Haas. So he knows, he knows what it is like to come back in Formula One. He's had that experience, he's young, he's hungry, so I really hope we're gonna see a, a good Kevin Magnussen, the Viking, sending it through the races. That's what I like about him. You know, he's, he's a very, very talented driver, very fast driver. I just hope he's got the right tool to show his talent and have some fun. That's what I think about Kevin going back to Formula One. Very happy, really happy. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the questions. Uh, make sure that you subscribe, like, ask us for more. Really happy all the time to answer your questions.